Good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending when you're watching this. Uh, my name's Tim. Uh, this week we are looking at the theme of fire, and we're continuing that today with um, the topic fire that purifies. And um, our verse today is, uh, one of our verses is uh, from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. I'm going to read verse 6 before as well to give it some context. In this you rejoice, and now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Um, now, Peter is writing to Christians who are experiencing persecution, and they're kind of wondering um, about these um, this suffering or these trials that they're facing and um, uh, why that was and kind of you know, what had gone wrong. Um, and Peter's writing to reassure them that there is a kind of purpose and, and something that is accomplished through um, these trials, um, specifically um, that the genuineness of their faith would be tested. Now, I think when we first hear that, um, that might sound like not a great thing. We don't love the idea of hardship and difficulty. And we might even um, yeah, worry whether we're, we're up to this, whether we're strong enough, whether our, our faith is strong enough. Um, we know we sometimes have doubts or we just feel um, weak-willed. Um, and, um, and yeah, you know, is this next trial going to be the one that knocks me off? Um, the one that causes me to to go astray um, but I think that's not the view that Peter has and um, that's sort of explained by um, uh, this comparison that he uses with uh, precious metals being refined uh, before we look at that I think there's a, a kind of problem that this whole thing is addressing and that is that left to our own human devices we are inclined to not rely on our God-given faith, not to trust in Jesus, but basically trust in, in anything and everything else that we can, that we see around us, that we find around us, whether that's our job and the sense of status or security that comes from that, whether it's um, our homes and the comfort we find there, or the um, friends and family relationships we have that give us a sense of security, you know, we have people we can rely on, or you know, just our own ability to kind of do stuff and, and get on and get through life. Um, and so um, what trials do is uh, bring an opportunity for us to see what our faith is really worth and to kind of discover and have it proven to us um, that our faith is genuine and is um, reliable and that, um, that the object of our faith, Jesus, is um, somewhat worth putting our trust in. And as I said, Peter explains that um, with this comparison with um, refining metals. Um, and that takes us to our second verse for today, which is Proverbs 17, verse 3, which says, The crucible is for silver, and the furnace is for gold, and the Lord tests hearts. And so um, the idea is that you put these precious metals that would come in ore, which are full of kind of impurities and other stuff that you don't want to make your jewellery or whatever it is, um, and you put them in a furnace or a crucible um, and the fire burns off the impurities and you're left with the good stuff that you want. And uh, Peter's kind of saying it's the same with us and with our, our faith. Um, it's not the case um, that these tests of our faith is to test our strength and our human ability and to see whether we make it through and to prove to God that we're, we're worthy um, of, of you know, being um, part of his people. Um, the human stuff, that our human strength, is exactly the dross, the, the bad stuff, the impurities that needs to be burned off. And it's the other stuff um, that uh, is shown to be worthwhile, the, the faith that God gives us uh, to hold on to him and to trust in him. And you can see that in verse 5, just before here, um, where it says who, that's talking to you, the Christians, uh, by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Um, and so um, these trials are an opportunity for us to see and be reminded and to have demonstrated to us 
um, that while we might well be weak and um, have doubts and and all these other and, and rely on all these other things, um, when those are um, are burned off, when we face trials and can no longer rely on them and are just left with Jesus, that He is worthy of our faith, um, and that He can can hold our weight and and, and can carry us. Um, and so I think as we approach this, um, as we approach revive this week of mission. There's some things that we can we can take into that. One is that we don't a- approach it with this kind of sense of pride and superiority, like that we're the Christians, we're the true believers, we know what's what. Um, we come with humility, knowing that our own faith is a gift from God, and that that's despite our, our weakness and our, our frailty and our inclination to trust in other things. Um, and, and the other thing is that we... We come with confidence and joy in a faithful saviour um, who will guard and keep us for that final day of, of salvation. Well, there will be uh, much um, glory and honour 